Welcome to the Maldives. It's a diving and snorkeling paradise filled with beautiful beaches, clear blue water, and luxurious hotels and resorts. On Vabin Faro Island, the Banyan Tree Hotel and Resort treats its surrounding ecosystems with great care. The Indo-Pacific has incredible diversity um, and Maldivian coral reefs are absolutely exceptional. They're, they're incredibly beautiful, there is incredible, incredible diversity. Um, many, many different species of, of coral, um, many genera of coral, um, the diversity of the colours, so things like Acropora coral, which um, we'll see in large numbers here, which can be the most colourful and the most diverse in shape and form. In 1998, the Maldives was hit by a devastating El Nino that increased the ocean's water temperature and killed large amounts of coral. Regardless of the devastation, the Banyan Tree decided to continue an innovative project that they had started in 1996 to regrow the coral at an electrifying speed. The, the basic idea of these projects is looking at whether um, a very small electrical charge, about three volts, will encourage coral growth and whether, um, what effects it will have on the coral. So we've essentially created large steel frameworks onto which we plant corals and then we run, a, as I say, a very low electrical charge through it. That was a theory, but would it actually work? Could they regenerate an entire coral reef in a much shorter time than what nature on its own could have done? The divers attached the pieces of coral onto the steel frame. The solar-powered electric current is monitored and regulated important to bear in mind that a coral isn't a plant, so if a twig breaks off, the animals that live inside the coral polyps themselves will still be alive and still able to, to continue their life cycle and to grow um, and to reproduce. So we'll take these fragments of live coral, we attach them to the framework um, with either plastic cable ties or with marine cement, um, and then we, we monitor their growth regularly. Here's what the lotus coral reef looked like when it was first submerged. And here it is today. It's going remarkably well at the moment. We had a slight inclination as to the, the theory behind um, the actual experiment, but it was the first of its kind in the Maldives. We've basically found that, that our corals are growing more quickly, um, and it appears that they're healthier and more resilient as well. We look at percentage cover. We look at um, variety of species. Um, we'll measure their growth. Um, so how quickly they're growing. Um, we'll monitor spawning seasons here as well, so we make sh we, when, it, when we know that the coral's about to spawn, we'll go out and monitor which corals are spawning and um, what the intensity of the spawning is. The new growth of coral has attracted other species of marine life to the area, such as reef fish, nudie branches, sea turtles, and even an endangered fish called the Napoleon wrasse. Every two weeks, the banyan tree cleans the steel lotus and monitors the coral's growth. By supporting eco-biodiversity, they're also maintaining an ecotourism attraction that benefits both the hotel resort and the surrounding communities. In the Maldives, corals also been mined um, for its use in construction. We've stopped all the, these issues, but the greatest threat to our corals continues to be global warming. Um, they have a very narrow temperature range which corals can withstand any warmer or cooler than that um, and the corals will start stressing, they'll bleach, so they'll go all white in colour um, and then eventually they will die. Global warming is something that we can all do our bit to, to, to stop by using less electricity, using our cars less. We try and involve as many people, the, the guests and the locals, as, as we possibly can. Crown of Thorn starfish are predators that eat coral at an unbelievable rate. Local students help to remove as many of them as possible from the reef and bury them elsewhere in the sand. In particular we run educational internships, so we'll take students from the neighbouring islands and from Male, um, bring them over here, they will spend either a few days up to a week with us, where they will follow the work of the marine lab scientists, um, they will assist us wherever is possible. Um, the idea being that then this is the next generation who will look after our coral reefs 
um, and they will be able to spread the word about how fantastic the marine life in the Maldives is, what a, what a treasure they have and, and how it really needs to be protected. Today we went for reef cleaning. We found some chronophthon starfish and some pink cushion star. And we found bits of rubbish like bottles, ropes and pieces of papers inside the sand. And we dive in and took them and we put it into a bag and we came up, buried them in the sand. The students learned how important reefs are for the island and how it supports other marine life such as sharks, turtles, and a whole host of fish and crustaceans. Through the Banyan Tree programs, the students get the opportunity to learn how coral gets its food, how they reproduce, and what marine biologists do. By becoming aware of what's going on with the reefs, the students spread the message to the surrounding communities. Compared to many areas, the Maldivian reefs are, are very healthy. The, the government here is um, very, very aware of its coral reefs and the importance to its tourism industry, so they're going a long way to, to assist us to protect the coral reefs. Projects like the Electrified Lotus are part of what the Banyan Tree Maldives is all about, protecting the environment for the enjoyment of all. And with help from people like Alexandra and her friends, the coral reefs and their surrounding marine life are now beautiful and safe. <laughs>